As we continue our series on how to use Pinterest, I want to show you how to add pins onto the boards that you've created. The pictures that you see on Pinterest's newsfeed either take you to a website or an image for you to view. There are a few ways to add a pin. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you one way that's really easy and simple using just the pins that are on Pinterest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over the Categories button at the top and I'm going to select Education. Now I know that when the news feed pops up that I'm going to be seeing the most recent pins that pinners have posted. As I scroll through the news feed, I come across a pin that I want to save. So let's say I want to save, I don't know, the subtraction poem. So as I scroll over the picture, I can see three boxes pop up automatically. And this happens any time I scroll over a picture. Now the first box says repin. And that's what we're going to be using to post a pin onto our board. But you also have two other options. You have the like button and the comment button. The like and comment buttons are exactly the same as Facebook. All you're doing is saying that you either like a picture or you're writing a comment about the picture that's posted. For our purposes now, we're going to select repin. From here, you're going to see a picture of the pin you selected at the top and two information boxes beneath. The first box is a drop-down menu of all the boards that you've created. So if I click on this arrow, I'm going to see that I can scroll along the side and see all the boards that I've created. Now say for example this doesn't fit into any of the boards that I've created, all I would have to do at the bottom is write in the new name of a board hit create and it would already be made for me. But for this purpose, I think I'm going to put it into my school category, which is up here. And the next thing you're gonna see is a description box. Now most of the time the pins that you see have a description already. So there's really no need to change it unless you wanna rename it something else. Just be aware that that box cannot be empty. And I'll show you that if you leave it empty, the option to pin it is not there. So try to keep the, some sort of information in there to guide the people who are looking at it. So now I'm going to click pin it. And it's going to say to me that it's repinned to my four school board. And I can check that by scrolling to the top of my page, going into my boards, and checking to see if it's inside of there. Now I can see already that it's in there, but I'm going to click just to check and I see that it's my first pin on here. Now notice that the most recent pins that you've put in your board are also going to be in order from most recent to oldest, which is also very helpful. Now from this point on, you can keep adding as many pins as you want. You can go back to your Pinterest page, you can select on different categories, and you can pin all day long. This is the easiest way to pin, and it's the most efficient way to add lots of different things to your boards. Stay tuned for my next two tutorials on how to add pins a little differently.